hello friends welcome to my channel and in this video i am going to show you one of my favorite markdown language which is org mode and if you are a vim user who don't know anything about emacs then yes this video is for you and i'm going to show you that how emacs can not just make your life very simple but also pretty cool so i haven't prepared anything in this video so there are a lot of things which is going to get messed up so uh I'm already like sorry for that. So this is my Emacs. Sometimes I change the theme, but most time I use this afternoon theme. So let's just change to just show you. So for example, if I want to use Tango Dark, oh, it, it's it's bad. Um, how about the oh, your eyes must got burned. So space mesh uh, like space mac is not installed i guess oh it is so all right so let's just see my dashboard again so this is my emacs i can change the theme it's beautiful and now some people are like oh but emacs is gui well you can also use emacs minus nw anytime and it's not gui it's cli if you want transparency you can also get this and trust me emacs cli is uh, pretty nice it's very underrated i guess uh you don't really need gui you can use emacs in the cli too okay so let's just close this and let me just get back to my older theme so it's afternoon theme and all right so let's just kill this custom theme all right so now you might like i assume that you don't know anything about emacs but what i'm about to show you is that how org mode and emacs can make your life very cool so I was doing some job and in that job, they asked me to give a list to them, list of some, you know, people with their contact information and some other information. So they wanted some, you know, PUBG players. So PUBG is a game. It's a stupid addictive game. Don't play it. So yeah. Now the issue was the way they work is really, really bad. Okay. So what they do is they send all these messages and there is no other track or the best what they do is they just write a document like docx file, which is so bad. So I don't like this full screen. So I'm just going to, you know, make it small, but I like things organized. So I was getting some information on some chat and I start collecting all these information in an org file. So let me just open this org file. So I'm here. Let me just search index.org and just go to this and you can see. So this is the org file. Now, don't worry this time. These phone numbers are not real. Okay. The email is real, but uh, people can, uh, you know, share their emails. Okay. And I was calling my friends to collect all this information or they were sending me on the text. And what I was doing is I was just writing this uh, like this. So this is like the list. And the thing about org mode is that everything is visual. So when you bold something, you can see this. If you italic something like you can see this, let me try to show you. So you can see it, it's changed. It's italic now. And if the font is small, let me just change the font for you. So in my config, I can just search chat prints mono and just change the font. Now, uh, I don't like uh, making too many too much function. So I have to close my Emacs and open again. Otherwise, I can also do live reloading thing in Emacs. So let's just open this file again. So yeah, th now the font is a little bit big and let me again make this small. So yeah, I so here on my screen, there is a lot of information. So I can just hide some and this is basically the list. So I had to provide six people and they wanted gamer and some information and all this information was, you know, in a different, different places. And I, and they were expecting some message like a text message with all this information. But what I did is I put all the information in this org file. Also notice one thing here, they wanted two screenshots. So these are two screenshots of their profile, which is attached to this file. By the way, you can just click this so you can open the images in org mode too. Let me just quickly, you know, move around or, you know, try to zoom in. So you can also do zoom in and then go to the bottom or, you know, forward. So, so yeah, meme is real. You can do almost anything in Emacs. And some people don't like this, but the thing is that Emacs have its own beauty. It might doesn't fit in your standard, but that doesn't mean it's a bad software. It's a absolutely useful software and you can do so much thing, which I'm, which you might can do with Vim or some other markdowns, but with Emacs, it's way cool and it looks way better and faster. So now let's just kill this image tab and just, you know, do this full screen. Now the thing which I want to show you, so 
if I press Ctrl C and then E, so this is just going to open this thing for me. So this is like uh, for exports and let me just export with HTML and then, you know, O. So H O, O is for as HTML file and open. So when I press O, so it's just going to open something in my browser. So here you can see I got a really nice HTML page, which is burning my eyes because the dark mode is not working for some reason. But seriously, guys, look at this. So this is phone responsive and the reason why I'm getting all this CSS. So let me just quickly remove this line from here and then save and export it. So at and then O and now there is no CSS. So this is what you get by default as an HTML export. But there are lots of CSS available online which, which you can add by just adding one line. So this is just one line and you can just understand this by looking at this, you know, so this is like the CSS file and you are just including this. All right. So instead of sending them a message and all the screenshot and all the crap or creating some doc files, some what I did is I made this page, this page here. And now if I open my terminal, so this is my terminal, obviously, you know, so let's just go to PUBG list and here you can see I got this index.html file. I just ran rsync. So rsync minus p to see the progress and then PUBG list and then root add bugswriter.com and colon and then var www site and that's it. Now I'm not going to run this command because I changed the number and the thing is already there. But by just using this command, uh, I put this page in my website domain so you can see and I shared this link with them. So here the dark mode is working. So look at this. I mean, this is such a nice way to share some information. Otherwise, what the people usually do is they just pin the message or do some manual thing or ask to create a doc file or something, which is such a bad idea because in org mode, all I had to do is just write the information literally. So I just wrote this username and then, you know, whatever the um, username is and then mail and it's very easy in org mode. So let me just quickly show you some org mode things. All right. For example, if I just want to add some link, control C and then control L. So here I'm getting this option to add links. So for example, HTTPS and then uh, LukeSmith.xyz and then some description. So Luke Smith. All right. Enter. So here you can see this is the link. Now you can also do this with Markdown, but that's the thing about org mode. You get all this functionality. It's intuitive. You can do this tabs thing. And the best part is you can also write the code. But that's it for this video. There will be a part two of this video because I want to show some more things related to org mode. This is just a one tiny bit example to just make you excited and you know, just understand a little bit thing. But there are a lot of things you can do. You can write your journal, you can you can make presentation and and maybe in the next video, I will show that thing because that literally saved my time. It's so easy to write presentation in org mode. Also, before ending, I just want to customize theme and show you, you know, uh, sorry for your eyes, but I like this theme more sometimes. Like if, if it's not night, I might end up using this theme, even though it's white, but it looks pretty or space max theme also look nice. So there are tons of themes to choose with. There are tons of things you can do with Emacs. And especially with org mode, Emacs just become unstoppable. There are a lot of things which I want to show you in the next video. I will do this. And the reason why I will do this is there are a lot of time when you need something very quickly. For example, in this case, I needed to provide this information, you know, some elegant way, even though they wanted just message, but I, I you know, I did in this way because it just cost me nothing. Also, sometimes you just want to write a presentation pretty quickly. And if you are a beginner, you might end up just using, you know, Google slides or, you know, some presentation software, which is such a bad way to write presentation. Because once you see how you can write resume with graph or, you know, write presentations with Emacs or mode, it's just going to blow your mind and you will be like, what the hell I was doing with my life before. So that's it. Take you up down I'll show you the sights you know